Well, happy Tuesday morning. Uh, another day, another full day of eating for me with keto. So, let's get right to it. Okay, so right here I have um, some chicken tenders. So, they are both kind of coated with a mixture of almond flour and um, pork rinds. So this one is just coated and fried. This one is wrapped in bacon and fried. Under here you can't really see it. Let's see. Uh, that cauliflower rice I had from over the weekend, which is really good. I got some more unsweetened almond milk, peach tea, and something you're not going to see me drink very often at all, which I shouldn't be drinking. Just, yeah, uh, a Diet Pepsi. So, this is what I'm working with. I hope you guys' morning is starting off okay. And I will be checking back in a little bit later. See you then. Okay, so here it is, my lunch. The chicken fingers and cauliflower rice. I am going to munch down on this and I am going to check back in with you guys a little bit later. See you then. Hi everyone, I am back and I kind of want to have a little chat with you before I show you my final meal. Um, and I want to talk about keto or any um, diet or lifestyle change you plan to make. And with that said, if you're trying to change your eating habits, it is best to think of it as a lifestyle change and not a quick fix diet. A diet is something that is just kind of temporary, but a lifestyle change is something you're going to do almost like it says for the rest of your life. So you want to get comfortable with changing your eating habits that you can sustain it for the rest of your life. And although keto in the beginning is not very easy, but you don't have to complicate it. Um, you don't have to have grass-fed beef, pasture-raised meat, organic this and organic that. Start with what you have and do what you can. If all you can afford is go to the store and just buy the cheapest meat you can find and it's a fatty cut of meat, go for it. Um, you don't have to have all organic vegetables. You can work towards that. That could be a goal for you. Um, just get your vegetables, cook them in some, you know, butter, some ghee, coconut oil, or whatever. So you can just start simple and work your way up. And simple is always best. You don't want to complicate everything by trying going on Pinterest and looking at all these other accounts and trying to make elaborate meals that wear you out and where you don't want to stick with it. Keep it simple and just start where you are. You don't have to be, be expensive. It can be relatively cheap and still be keto and be easy. So with that said, um, let's go into my final meal. It's going to be a taco salad. So this is ground turkey, and um, it's sitting on a little bit of wilted mixed greens and some the Taco Bell taco sauce, some cheese, and some guacamole. And I mixed in some a little bit of mayo with the guacamole to add up my fat. So, and this is what I am calling my final meal of the day. Yum, 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 yum. So, I do want to thank you guys for following me on my journey. Don't forget to um, like, subscribe, and share the video. And I will be back for another full day of eating. And I have been going away quite a bit. Um, so, I'm kind of off my routine. But... This weekend, I plan to do a weigh-in and update you guys where I'm at with my weight and fat percentage and all that fun stuff. So, I will see you again on Thursday. Mwah. Thank you guys so much.